In this lesson I'm going to show you how to make this square crossover ring. There's only two components. This is a peridot and the metal is a silver platinum alloy. So no fire scale. Check that out. Back. Turn it 90 degrees. Back the other way. And then just check again. See what we've got. You'd better off being uh, more than less. So I'm just banging on 5.6 now. So now I need to keep it going the same way. So again, it's only going to be 10 minutes on the dial each time. Pass through. Won't need annealing yet. Uh, and stress it out. So again, I'll do it. I need it exactly the same way as I would if it was sterling. I'm going to do now because I just need a little bit more width for hammering out the sides. If it just starts bending around that way a fraction, it doesn't matter address that in a minute. So I'll just get it through again, test the uh, measurements and then anneal it. Here, I'm using my, um, this is a panel beater's hammer, it's great for doing this kind of work. And just tap along and try and get the edges flat without reducing the width too much. Ring mandrel into the vise and this is really my first test of how this alloy works and it seems to move really nicely. I can't say it's any different to sterling silver, which is probably the news that they want, is that it works the same as other silvers do. So there we go, we've got the right curve there. A bit left over at this end. Uh, just a rolling out and trying a little bit of fusing to experiment later. I'm going to use the, uh, the end that I cut and uh, do exactly the same, just get a curve on that's uh, just at the end that measures up or matches up to around about size O. That side there and you can see one there together it's going to be quite a tall setting so you could use this as a bit of a gauge of where to start. Bit of a figure eight going on there, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross it over because this is soft enough to do this. It's um, like I say, it's really good. So if I just bring it over like that, so it's offset, like that, and then um, that matches the right finger size and the angle of the curve there of the other side. <laughs> Mine, then get yourself one of these rubber thimbles and, uh, and you can uh, really push into your metal then with that. against your peg and push down. It's holding the, uh, the tension is holding really well there. It's not opening up at all. So um, it should be pretty much ready for soldering. Higher scale, and I usually, when I'm soldering sterling silver, I use more of a neutral flame, so more, um, the, the same amount of oxygen as gas or fuel to uh, limit the chance of uh, causing fire scale. So with this, it doesn't matter. Um, so it's up to temperature now, and uh, just feed the salt. Okay. So now that that's done, I will uh, look at the piece that's going on. I can see that the 
the end of the cup it's not far off the right angle I just need to change it slightly and just file this edge here and just get it up to temperature and um, hopefully not knock anything out of line as I introduce the solder and there's a capillary action uh, when the solder runs it almost sucks the uh, it's almost like a magnet sucking the, the piece pieces together so um, there we go that's run right through um, so that always helps to just uh, seal off the joint and uh, make sure it is perfect so there's no there we, oh it's slightly out of line there you can just see it's not running as well as the other side so I just need to push this side down so obviously it's um, actually take that piece away so obviously the angle was just pushing it out a little bit so I'll just bring it up to temperature again just push it over just change that angle I thought I got away with it the first time it's going too well there we go so that's just pushed it in line there and I'll just check again on the other side, make sure it's working. Now I can work on reducing the thickness at the bottom. Using a finer grade file to just go across the deeper file marks and get it ready for emery paper. And I'll just use the edge of my half round ring file to get right into the crease without causing a flat spot. So it must uh, come away from the crease and. Bleh. and just funnel from one side to the other like that. Don't have to go too too deep. If you don't if you've not done this kind of thing before do some practice on a piece of scrap first. On my handpiece, first of all, to do the inside. And now I'm going to put a seating cut on the inside of the setting. And you can see the setting's pretty high as it is. You could set it high if you want, but I'm just going to take it down a little bit further. So if I just hold the stone. Um, at the appropriate depth obviously we want clearance for the girdle then let's just hold it there I think probably a little bit lower than one mil down uh, blade to do most of my work and put, keep the seating angle nice and square so it should look something like that that side go over to my uh, three square needle file and just without taking any more off uh, cutting into the thickness anymore I should say I'll just um, file the lower part Okay, that's gone in, and it's firm enough. What we don't want to do is run the file over where we need the metal to be, so I'm putting uh, that texture mark, and uh, just 
just got to make sure that I don't touch this area here. Just uh, run my file at an angle over the top. On both sides. So I've got about a mil and a half to two mil there. I just scratch a line. There you go, so you can see the black mark in the middle there. file this is actually a ring file and I'm just filing that's where the saw cut is at a slight angle so I'm just just creating a high spot there But you are going to need a hammer tool. Um, you can use a punch and hammer to do this, but you've got to be really, really careful. So I recommend uh, using a Dremel or a hammer handpiece on your pendant motor. They're flat, but as I said earlier, you can just, if you have cut too deep in there and it's going to uh, compromise the setting and file may touch the stone, then you can put a very, very soft wave into it. 